we have a prepared statement. Today, the Democratic Caucus voiced their support to continue my term through the end of 2018. An election will be held on the first date of the 2019 season, which is January 2nd, as is the normal course of business for the Senate. Our focus today continued to be and continues to be on policy, the budget, and the business of legislating. At tomorrow's session, tomorrow's formal session, the word acting will be removed from the Senate President's title, and soon we'll, I will be officially moving into the Senate President's office and will be naming a new majority leader. Any, will any, you be a candidate for Senate President in January? No. <laughs> no. Are you running for re-election? I certainly am, but is, not a candidate. Is, is, is the significance of making you the permanent Senate President send a message that Senator Rosenberg will not come back as President? Yes. So what is the question? For this term, because about. I am going to be the, I am the President and I will continue to be throughout this term. Do you think the Senate is, will he stand as a candidate for President? I think that that's something you have to ask Senator Rosenberg. Why did you make this decision? Because we have reached a point where we are now into the business of doing what we're here to do, which is legislating. We have a budget. Today was Joint Rule 10 Day. We have work to do for the people who've elected us. And Acting doesn't quite quite do it anymore. We are now at the point where you need a, we need a president who has the full responsibilities and the full authority of a president of the Senate. Have you, you asked the potential contenders for the presidency in January to sure. cease and desist lobbying their colleagues? <coughs> Thank you. We're Thank you. One more. I will. I certainly will. Let me ask that. They were among the people. They're all in there, and they were among the people who agreed to this and voted for it. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.